Chicago today. Just a few minutes ago, I spoke with Sue Klinkhammer. She worked for a Democratic Illinois congressman. She defended Obamacare to her constituents, his constituents, but then he was defeated for re-election, at least in part because of his support for Obamacare. She was then unemployed, forced to get her own insurance plan. A few weeks ago, she got a letter from her insurance provider. So you got this letter. I got this letter what from Blue Cross that said, this is a um, review of your current coverage um, uh, that I right now have a blue advantage with a monthly premium of $254.88 as of the date of this letter. Please note that coverage under your current plan will end December 31st, 2013. And then, he, then they give me my plan options. And what is, basically what are the options the for The first you? one is a silver option. Um, which is most similar in benefits to what you have today. The monthly premium for the member named above, which is me as a single person on a plan, is $647.12. 647. 647.12. Wow. My other option is a Blue Choice Bronze, which is most similar in price to what I have today, but higher, not, you know, from right. 254 to, uh, and that monthly premium would be $322.32. So why not take the bronze? Well, I, I, you, first of all, it's a higher price. Right. But my deductible will go from $3,500 to $6,500. So some people would say, supporters of Obamacare would say, you're going to get better plans. This is what, this is what Obamacare does. It requires that you, you'll have coverage that you didn't have before. Right. And I'm a supporter of, of Obamacare, um, you know, and, and this was part of my issue was that I did tell everybody it would be better. And I understand that all these health essentials that are now being covered, but some of those had also been covered in the past couple of years, you know, like mammograms and physicals and things like that. But I still don't understand why, even if all those are covered, why my premium is going up $350. And you're not eligible for subsidies. And I'm not eligible for a subsidy. Now, what, what really bothered me, and I know there's talking points on both sides. So uh, this morning, a congressman from North Carolina, a Democratic congressman to defend it, said, well, but those policies that people had that are being eliminated were junk policies. Junk policies. Right. And that, 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 that it wasn't a junk policy. It was a good policy. It was in my price range. It gave me what I wanted. It certainly wasn't a Cadillac plan, but you know, it had a, a good deductible and a good premium. Um, you know, and again, for people on the open market. But you can go to an exchange and shop around and find something better, right? Isn't that something else that? Well, and there, that was the second part of my problem was I went on October 1st, I went onto the website. Now I did, was able to register. I was able to get through the registration part. But then in Illinois, they didn't have their premiums up. So they said they would send me a letter with my options. And then um, the head of, of Get Covered Illinois did call me, reach out to me after I sent this letter to somebody, a mutual friend. And so I was able to browse the prices. But again, you're able to browse the prices, but you have to go to the carrier website to see what the actual plans are. And I'm assuming with Blue Cross, um, there were a couple companies that were completely out of range. They were, you know, like $400 range. Do, so, you, re do you regret, you worked for a congressman, a right. Democratic congressman, who probably one of the reasons he wasn't reelected was because of his support for right. the Affordable Obama. Care Act. Right. Right. So do you regret working for him? Do you regret pushing back when constituents called up and complained? No, because I believe in, I believe in, in, in the health care for all theory. I mean, I, I'm glad to see the people who couldn't get health care. That was the, the pre-existing condition. That was a hard, hard. But you're a middle, you're people. a middle class but, American and your, your premiums are going up. But my premiums are going way up. And I just want, I mean, I have a lot of now conservative Republican friends who are calling me and saying, here's the ironic thing. I, I'm going to benefit from Obamacare and I'm glad they are. But I just thought that maybe all of them would be put in a pool with me instead of the pool expanding where all the healthy people, you know, kind of went into a higher premium pool. Because so, then to me, it's not affordable. It's available, but it's not affordable.